following video is probably brought to you by Touchstone Semiconductor Incorporated, the 21st century high performance analog company. Please visit us on the web at touchstonesemi.com, call or email our sales support line at 1-408-383-9353 or at sales at touchstonesemi.com, like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter. Hi, I'm Brett Fox. I'm going to talk about the founding of Touchstone Semiconductor, how the company came about, and the founding team as well. The idea for Touchstone actually has been with me for over 10 years. And it came about when I was leaving Maxim in the year 2000. I thought that this would be a great idea to take the Maxim business model, the linear technology business model, and update it and do it again, but in a fabulous way. The timing in the early part of the 2000 decade was not right uh, for various reasons. As the years went on, the timing became more right. And when I left my Krell, that was, a, that was a better time to start thinking about building a company like Touchstone. So in the early part of 2008, we started raising money for Touchstone. And easily, raising the funding for Touchstone is the most difficult thing that we have done to date. It was a very, very difficult time, if you remember 2008. 2008, if you remember uh, the dynamics, we had two things going against us. Number one, we were a semiconductor company. Number two, uh, we were trying to raise money in the midst of, of a big economic downturn. And as the year went on, the timing got worse. We were very fortunate in the beginning of 2008 to find Opus Capital. And Opus stayed with us through the downturn of 2008 and into 2009 when we started raising money again. And then near the end of 2009, we were fortunate enough to find Coastal Ventures. And Coastal Ventures, with the deal led by Pierre Lamond, uh, was the other investor in Touchstone. And we couldn't be happier with how it turned out, because both Gil Kogan, who's the managing partner of Opus, and Pierre uh, have tremendous experience with the analog business model. Gil was an original investor in Maxim, and Pierre was a founder of National Semiconductor and involved the, in many other successful semiconductor companies as well. The founding team of Touchstone, besides myself, we have Jerome Foundry and Adolfo Garcia. Jerome is the VP of Engineering, and Jerome's background, if you look at his background, he has this wonderful combination of great design experience. He's a tremendous design engineer with multiple patents to his name, excellent business skills, and excellent management skills. When you put all three of those things together, you have a very unique combination for a design manager. And for us, he's a tremendous manager for the company. Uh, in Adolfo's case, um, Adolfo, when you look at his technical background, it, it, is, it is incredibly strong. And for a marketing applications manager in a business like ours to have the depth and breadth of technical ability that Adolfo has is a very unique combination and is perfect for what we're trying to do. So the other fortunate thing when you look at those two individuals is that Jerome coming from Maxim, he was a very known quantity, and Adolfo, Adolfo and I had worked together at Micro, he was also a known quantity. So we were very fortunate. As we've built out the team, we've also been fortunate in that Almost all of the people inside of Touchstone to date are people that we know and we have worked with in our past, and that's ideal for what we're trying to do. The preceding video was brought to you by Touchstone Semiconductor Incorporated, the 21st century high-performance analog company. For more information, please visit us on the web at touchstonesemi.com, call or email our sales support line at 1-408-383-9353 or at sales at touchstonesemi.com, like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter.